So you're going to be hearing the voice of Grandma Yola Martinat Banker, and uh, I think she'll be talking about her time as a young married woman when she was um, living uh, in, uh, where was that, um, like, gosh, she, she said where, <laughs> but, you know, Tennessee or, you know, way on the, in the south somewhere, um, for, you know, temporarily she was living there to, while his grandpa was uh, graduating from um, some kind of airplane school, Morton's or something. Um, but uh, at this point, grandpa had already left for some missions and uh, she was uh, still staying there and her parents were still in um, Arcadia taking care of, or not Arcadia, I guess, um, Monterey Park taking care of uh, Lonnie. Uh, Lonnie, she was like three at the time and uh, Jack was just about to be born, so Grandma Yola was pregnant with him. And she was staying at this nice mansion looking house, just renting a room and talking about how nice the people were there to her. And I'm really glad they were nice to her. And uh, my mom and dad, of course, then, you know, that was my family. Did you uh, correspond at all with your mom and dad when you were in the Hold on. <laughs> Let's just go back home. <laughs> where, my, where Aunt Lonnie was, because she was almost three. Oh, my God. Jeez. And uh, my mom and dad, of course, then, you know, that was my family. Mm -hmm. Did you uh, correspond at all with your mom and dad when you were oh, in the Oh, sure, sure. Yeah. Of course, of course. And, um... So, so it, it was a it was a part of my life that I'll never forget. Oh, yeah. It was a very anxious part of my life, mm -hmm. and it was a wonderful wonderful part of my life since uh, Jack was going to be born. But it was also very uh, lonely because I was all alone. Yeah. Nobody except this family, and mm -hmm. they, uh, you know, I, I, of course, I, I didn't know a soul. <laughs> and um, did they call it the Battle of the Bulge? Like, did they say the Battle of the Bulge? I mean, like, it's been the Battle of the Bulge for the last two weeks because there's been so many, so much fog. Did yeah. they call it that at the time? I believe they did. Okay. Yes, I, I believe they did. That's good. And, um, so that affected me very personally. Yes, I, I know. Very, very personally. I, I will never, that was, I know that we were not in the war. Uh, the war did not affect me personally other than my husband. I mean, here in the yes. United States, we had very, just very minor things like sugar rationing and tire rationing. But, of course, it was nothing compared to what, people in oh, yeah. Europe were going through or, or England. Mm -hmm. That was that was the worst, England. Yeah. And um, so that that really affected me. Uh, yeah. You know, very, mm -hmm. very affected me. Mm -hmm. And I will, I will never forget the wonderful um, care or the wonderful thoughts that this family had for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because they were just so nice to me. So then, then um, when did you get to come home like this? Well, then I think Bob, of all things, Bob was stuck in here in California because his, uh, his, 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 their, here too was a very dense fog. Yeah. And, um, Oh, so that's why she couldn't fly home, I guess, or drive home, or fly home, or he couldn't fly back, I guess, because of the fog, maybe? He went to Hawaii. Yeah. Oh, because his, uh, they, he, they, they, here, too, was a very dense fog. Yeah. And, um, 
So you went to Hawaii or yeah. something? Yeah, we were the plane and then went back to California because that was his base or something? Or? No, it wasn't his base. Why his base is really necessary. Why was he stuck in California? Be well, he was stuck because Hawaii was all full of, 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 of fog. Oh, okay. He couldn't go over there because it was foggy there. <laughs> Just like it was foggy. So he didn't yeah. go to Hawaii. Well, he stayed here for two or three weeks. Well, I was sick. The we were just on opposite yeah. Oh, she, she was in. Home, I would have been all right. She was staying in Memphis, Tennessee. And so, when he eventually went to Hawaii, the plane. Yeah, he went to the plane. And how did you get home? And then I guess he came home. And then put me on it. Found that he could get me on a train. So he came back to Memphis. Memphis. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then after he delivered his plane, he and and the fog had lifted. Things were looking up. At the Battle of the Bows. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The Battle of the Bow. We had we then um, were able to stop the Germans. Okay. And and the tension was definitely. Um, yeah, I'm gone. I mean, it wasn't, that wasn't completely gone, but at least it wasn't so intense, you know. Yeah, yeah. And um, so then I took the train home. I believe it was the train. And, of course, I sat up the whole time. The whole hours from Memphis, I didn't have a sleeping car. Oh, I <laughs> don't, I don't even think I ate. Um, what did you eat mostly when you were over there? Well, it was the, uh, um, it was the, uh, um, custom. It was, it was, uh, the, I, 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 I went to the restaurant about three o'clock, uh -huh. and maybe had a hamburger or something, and then I didn't eat anything until morning. When I, because I didn't have kitchen, I didn't have kitchen, uh -huh. and I didn't eat with the people except when they invited me special. Yeah, you know, was not. Uh, I mean, it was yeah, it was not a kitchen. It was I didn't have kitchen privileges, mm -hmm. so I had to go out and eat with my. I eat my meals out, mm -hmm. and uh, I ate a lot of candy bars at night. <laughs> Snickers mostly. Okay, yeah. yeah. What we. What we what we, and um, you asked what we had to eat, uh, it, uh, on them. it was, uh, uh, Christmas was a traditional southern, southern, uh, uh, you know, uh, how they cook down south, because this is, put Memphis is pretty well down south. Uh, well, I don't know, just make everything else. Uh -huh. Okay. Go ahead. So we had good turkey and... Mm -hmm. and everything, and it was served with a colored maid served, mm -hmm. and, and I had never been used to anything like that, you know. She didn't never have maids <laughs> or something like that. Thank you very much. Oh, it's done. Right. Looking back at it now, cause, because at the time, we didn't have any news of the, of the terrible things that, that um, um, then, yeah, then, the terrible things that Hitler was doing, mm -hmm. and, um, so we didn't know, you know, uh, you could, oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> uh, you could say that, uh, I, I, my mom and dad came to America, and I never had the joy of uh, having my grandmother, either any grandmothers or grandfathers near me. Mm -hmm. So I knew how nice it would be. Uh, I mean, uh, it was very nice that both of my children had their grandparents right next door, one on each side, you know, or one on each side or whatever. Well, all four grandparents because there was two sets of grandparents, so her children got to grow up with four grandparents, um, you know, two grandparents on each side. 
Um, although Grandpa's father um, died a little bit on the young side. My mom, Yolanda, was probably about, oh, I don't know, around 10 or 12. We'd have to check on that. But, you know, not he didn't live too long because uh, he had to give a speech at church. And I think he got too riled up or, you know, too nervous about doing that. So he had a heart attack and dropped dead at the Baptist church there on Baldwin, just north of um, uh, Las Tunas. And um, his name was also Robert, I think. What was his name? <laughs> Grandpa. And they always just called him Grandpa Banker. Um, okay. Living by your mother-in-law and father. It was very nice that most of my children had their grandparents right next door, one on each side, you know, oh. Oh, on that side or whatever. Mm -hmm. So you lived by your mother-in-law and father-in-law? Yeah. Which house? And my mother and dad. Yeah. Which house did who live in? Hmm? Which which house? Who lived in what house? Okay, 9845 is where Ma, Ma, Grandma and Grandpa Banker lived. Oh. And 9835 is where my mom and dad had. And, uh, of course, um, It was very nice for me to have them there. And, uh, yeah. why did Grandpa want them right next door? I mean, it's not fair. Well, I don't know. It was just, uh, it, uh, it just worked out that way. Um, my, let's see. Because they came out to California because, well, because of both boys, both of their sons were here. Okay. And, um, so uh, that's why they wanted to come out and be near their sons and family, although Lefty wasn't married at the time. And uh, so um, uh, so it just happened that we had this, uh, you know the story, how we had this acre back here. Mm -hmm. And so we thought, well, wouldn't it be nice if... Uh, they, it, I, I don't know if we should, you know, if you ever want to build a house near us, why, we should sure love to have you. And they both said yes, they would. So uh, they were even kind enough to buy it from us, you oh, know, nice. uh, buy a little. Uh, and it happened that, uh, let's see, who built theirs first? I think, I think my mom and dad built theirs first, mm -hmm. and, uh, and maybe, I don't know if Grandma and Grandpa Banker had a, a one or two, uh, had intentions of building until they saw my mom and dad build, and this way, Grandpa had a little piece, little bit piece of bigger land because he liked the garden, mm -hmm. and so. Um, uh, That's why thirty-five is a bigger lot than forty-five, probably. Your dad had more. Yeah. Why did he? I mean, I don't come know. here because there was more land or something. Yeah, yeah. What are you looking? Okay. Yeah. No, I was just noticing I have hair on the side of my cheeks just like you do. <laughs> That's why I should get it waxed. No, it's not, not much. And um, so, yeah, so I guess, the, uh, I don't know why. I don't know why they, he chose a, we, maybe if Grandma Banker didn't have any intentions of, I don't know exactly what, but anyhow, they both got a piece of that. And it was really nice for the kids because they could run over to their grandmothers and whenever they wanted to. But sometimes, um, like, like I had, huh? Okay, go on. I had 
to be a diplomat because one was maybe just a little jealous of the other. So I had to try and divide my time equally. Uh, I guess um, her parents and the in-laws were maybe a little bit jealous of each other, I guess she's trying to say. Grandpa Bob was gone five days a week for work. He, he was, you know, traveling for his work of delivering airplane parts. So uh, Grandma Yola would only see him on the weekend. Uh, you remember, like, any specific things really helped me because it's good to say, yes, it was good and bad living by me. Yeah. Uh, well, but I, I like to say this, but I don't know if it would go very well on the on the This would be uh, Grandma Banker, Grace, Ellis, and uh, Grandpa Banker, Yola's in-laws. They were Protestant, wanted the kids to go to church. Well, they did go to Sunday school for a little while. Oops, wrong way. I don't know if it would go very well on the, on the, well, say it, and I don't have to include it, yeah. The big, one of the big contentions was that I didn't go to church. Mm-hmm. And they did. And they wanted the children to go to church, although they did go to Sunday school for a little while. And I, 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 I was not of one, I was a Protestant, but I didn't belong to one specific church. And they, Grandma Banker, not Grandpa Banker, Grandma Banker wanted me to belong to one their church. What, what was that one? Baptist church. And um, so it was a little bit more difficult. Uh, you know, I had to try and skirt around that. Uh, How did you do that? You know? Well, uh, I don't really know. Yeah. So it's, it's just, just, just by yeah, yeah, I just tried to, you know, a uh, uh, thing, and um, and then one time I remember that this has got nothing to do with church, but uh, she had a row of uh, she liked her flowers, gray flowers, yeah, mm-hmm. or gray snail, yeah, gray snail, gray snail is banker, yeah, <laughs> Grace May Ellis Banker is who we're talk we were talking about. Um, Grandma Yola just loved this photo of me. Um, she thought it was really a cute smile or, you know, just a cute face. So, um, yeah, I, I'm glad that she got to uh, see this photo and I think I printed it out for her. I don't know how old I was there, maybe about seven or so. 